lift up your hands and let's worship Emmanuel. We worship your majesty. Your name is God, Emmanuel. Blessed be your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Please, you may be seated in the name of Jesus Christ. Just very quickly, as a way of charge, as we step into the time to worship this evening, if you have your Bibles with me, please open to the book of Psalm, the book of Psalm, and uh, uh, Psalm 100. I'd like us to read all of it together, and then we'll just look at um, five attitudes that we ought to have as we approach God in praise and in worship tonight, and um, then we'll go ahead and worship him. Psalm 100, let's read together. One to go. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, O ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Somebody say a loud amen. Hallelujah. What kind of mindset ought we to have? As we come to God in worship. Anytime you want to worship God. Anytime you are set to praise him. Number one. Be conscious. Or be aware. Of God's godness. Where we read in verse. Three says. Ye are the Lord. Know ye that the Lord is God. So God is God. Other people serve small letter G gods. But we serve and come before the God of all gods to worship. Number two, be conscious that he made you. You still see that in verse three. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us. We were not an absent-minded cosmic adventure. God dedicatedly, calculatedly sat down and made us. Be conscious that you are God's workmanship. A workmanship that he is happy about. He is pleased about. When God finished creating you, the Bible says, he said, it is good. He saw you and he said, it is good. Number three, be conscious of your sonship. It says in that verse 3, it says, Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Since you didn't bring yourself into this world, you didn't create yourself. You are conscious that he made you. And we must understand that we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So the attitude and the mindset in praising and worshiping God is that of sonship. And today, if you are not yet born again, you are watching, listening to the sound of my voice. These are the times so that you can benefit maximally from the time of worship where you set yourself right with God you set yourself right in the presence of God in his in his in his in the knowledge that he is your God and you are born again and number 4 be conscious of his mercy being everlasting verse 4 says enter his gates with thanksgiving and with his and into his courts with praise and be thankful unto him yes then go ahead for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. 
So you are conscious that his mercy is everlasting. By his mercy, we are not consumed. By his mercy, we have every right to say thank you, even in advance, for what he's going to do. Because we are sure that his mercy will overlook his judgment at every point in time. And then fifthly, we are sure that his truth endureth unto all generations. The senior pastor preaching and ministering on Sunday said God, he, he doesn't tell a lie. He will say what he will do and he will not do what he will not, he will not say that he will do what he will not do. God's word is truth. You are sure of it. So even in the place of praise, in the place of worship, you are praising in advance of his promises, of his covenant, and of his assurance. And as we do that today, I believe that the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard in the name of Jesus. And so we are going to come into his presence with thanksgiving this morning, this evening. We are coming to his presence with praise, and we are coming with the gladness and with singing and we're going to bless his name. That word, bless his name, that we see in verse, um, in verse um, 3. I think that's verse 3. Let's look at verse 3. You know that we are, we are sheep of his pasture. Yes, go on to 4. Enter his gates, yes, with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. The word bless his name means salute him. Honor him. Bow before him. Kneel at his feet. Acknowledge him. So we're acknowledging him from our hearts. We're acknowledging him in our singing. We're acknowledging him in our talking. Like the senior pastor minister the other day. We're acknowledging him even in our, in our life and in our conduct. And then we are blessing his name. Father, I bless you. I salute you. I honor you. I kneel before you. I bow before you. Let's rise up on our feet as we go into time. Worshiping him and praising him this evening. What a mighty God we serve. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. 